The egg of life, the original eight cells of the human body, a form that takes place shortly after conception. This particular biological cell division is important because the body coming into form is perfectly and evenly divided into the four elements, with a yin and yang of each, giving you eight perfect spheres. These spheres each contain a fractal of the whole, each representing a core aspect of the various parts of the human spirit, as represented by different body parts. These eight spheres become the first physical representation of the complete eight chakra system, of which from root to root connects the physical energy of the earth through the body to the higher awareness of the unified field and its infinite connections to everything. The eighth chakra is the root of the next world, connecting you with your eternal self beyond the limits of the physical body. And as with the heart, a half step hides this portal for those who have reached the higher centers. Hey there, so do you remember how I mentioned chakras are like lenses of reality? I wanted to expand on that, so I built this model for you in order to explain it better. Think of chakras like your field of awareness, and depending on which one you're focused in, your awareness becomes focused and narrow, or wide and expansive. When you're in root, a survival focus, your perception is focused on one thing, surviving the crisis or situation. It is a very thin beam. But now if you're in the third eye, your other chakra is covered and satisfied, your expanding vision grows very wide in order to see all of the connections. Your telepathic and mental reach becomes greater. The third eye is all about seeing the geometry so it can focus on a very specific shape or expand its vision to a very wide understanding of all of the patterns and how they connect. You can imagine how you might switch between them on the fly. Let's say you're camping out with some friends in a moonlit night. Everyone feels safe. Maybe there are some brotherly bonds being created. And you're telling a story, sharing meaningful experiences with your companions. In this moment, your primary or dominant chakra is the throat. And then the bear shows up. Everyone panics. Now nobody feels safe and everyone scatters away, running for their lives. Everyone's reality lens drops down to the root focus, survival mode, and it will remain there until everyone feels safe again. After which, we scale back up the lower levels until we reach our equilibrium with each other, wherever that is with that particular group. That example, of course, is only one of many possible responses to the crisis of the bear showing up. Depending on the awareness of the group, the responses could vary anywhere from calmly turning your back and walking away in peace, all the way to an energetic nod to the bear that they are friendly, and that if the bear is interested, they'd love to do some photography together. Human to animal communication is far more simple than we realize. What is required is a stable foundation of understanding and mental, emotional connection to that which you're connecting to. The process of being there is in fact that very shift in awareness and transition into the higher centers, into the heart, beyond the wall of the first half step. I previously regarded this as a half step, which it is, and with some further research into harmonic theory and some inspiring discussion with some close friends, we've also decided to refer to it as a mirror wall. In practice, when you see it through these chakra lenses, it just shows you what you know. And when you step through it, moving into the heart, everything gets bigger. It's through the looking glass dial. This mirror wall or half step is essentially an invisibility wall that hides the higher chakras from spirit when it's exploring the lower ones, still new to this reality. But once a level of mastery has been established within the first three chakras, spirit can catch a glimpse of, or even move into the next part of life experiences. Now let's bring it full circle with this. What we're looking at here is the human eight chakra system the primary chakras or nodal points running up and through the body. Human energy from sexual to electrical moves in the pattern you see here. The transition steps are located between the third and fourth chakras and the seventh and eighth chakras. The difference between the system seven and eight or 12 and 13 is really all in about how you're analyzing the data. It's all the same data, just different dimensions of observation. Let me show you the geometry of how this actually works. We've looked at this before and this time we're gonna look deeper. The key here is actually Many keys. It's all inlaid in a piano. You know how an octave on a keyboard has five black keys and seven white keys? Those black keys are mid-steps between each of the white keys. In music theory, they're called sharps or flats, depending on which key you're using as a reference point. Officially, this is called a half step. Normally, one white key to a black key is a half step, and with a black key in the middle, from white to white is referred to as a whole step. However, when it happens between two white keys, this is an unusual transition, the less common but still pertinent 90 degree shift in tones throughout the audible spectrum. 
If you mapped it on a simple wave graph, it might look like this, up and down, yin and yang, between the white and black keys, except for two places. The transition that we're talking about is literally a 90 degree turn, the space to where there are no black keys between white keys. If these are all 45 degree turns oscillating to and fro with each other, then these spaces between the white keys are a 90 degree turn. And you remember all about those from lesson seven, right? And this is actually a pretty big deal when you relate it to consciousness. That half step between white keys is a point of transition, the singularity in aha moments where all of the dots of your life all connect with each other in a new way, where you bridge your newly mastered lower centers with the previously unknown higher centers. And when you are willing to step through that doorway into what's next, step into the higher centers, everything changes. Thank you for watching. Before you go, we have a few quick announcements for you. The first is that we love you because that's what the world needs more of. The second is that Team Spirit will be at the Tucson Gem Show this year for La Grande Gatheringa. We have a sacred box of original spirit shirts, which we intend to create an equal exchange for the creation of more, whatever and however that may look like. Third, we will be doing some group spirit side chats wherever we park our RV or in some awesome space that becomes available. We really have no plans. We're just going to show up. We're even going to try and get Ray to do one of his famous transformational workshops. Fourth, and finally, go subscribe to the Team Spirit YouTube channel. We're going to do our best to put out a lot of behind the scenes and live action stuff here over the next year. In fact, you can get started by watching these.